Hey, Dixie Bartolo, Mads, Mattis Dreider, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater. Oh, I just lost my sh I lost my shirt. Normally, normally I lose my shirt at CES in Vegas, but this is pretty neat. Let me just show you again. So the only reason I have a pink mustache, I'm not competing with uh, OMG Chad, uh, is that we could not find a red marker, but. The, uh, the, the name of the company attracted me to it. It's called Chalk of the Town. And we found somebody here who I believe invented it. Yes, I did. my sister and I came up with this idea of a t-shirt you can draw on, not with messy, smudgy chalk, but with precise, colorful chalk markers. Oh, okay. You know what, let's, uh, Dennis, let's walk over and talk in front of this uh, assortment of, of uh, shirts. So how long, uh, you want me back here? So how long from the time you and your sister thought of this to actually having shirts that you could sell, did it take? Two years. Two years, okay. Uh, and a lot of money? Um, not a lot of money, a lot of sweat equity. There was a lot of um, trial and error and testing and trying. But we also were working on a, another similar business at the same time. So, so that was helpful. Oh, that made it easier. And the, the only reason I, I ask is that um, I used to do a, a, a spot for uh, CNBC on steals and deals where people showed us inventions. But a lot of them were in for half a million dollars. You know, no. Okay, so it was less for you. And now, how are they being sold? Um, the shirts are being sold right now at retail, packaged with one chalk marker, one stencil, and a cloth. And and then is there a way to get the chalk back off? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You use water on the cloth and wipe it off, or, or you turn it inside out and throw it in the washing machine. And the ink is water-based, so it just disappears in the washing machine. Okay. Now, suppose someone draws an incredible design that they want to keep. Will it stay on for a while, or will it sell you where? Well, you could leave it on as long as you don't uh, throw the shirt in the washing machine. So some of these shirts, um, like this cat shirt, we love. We drew it about a year ago, and uh, it still lives on. I think I have it right here <laughs> because everyone loved this design. So we've had this for about a year, and I could take water and wash it off if I want to, but we like it so much we've kept it. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, let's. let's uh, we're gonna walk over here. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. All right, very good. So we're going over to the demo table. Oh, you want to wash that off? Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Right. Oh, you know, it's very funny because this guy came by before. Uh, Picasso, I think he said, and he drew that. So let's just wash that right off. Water, okay. Just water. And now I'm just going to wipe it off. Look at that. Ta da! Oh, so, the, so the, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's, that's great. Yeah. And how many washings do you expect that the blackboard part will just come back and um, be writable or drawable? I have a friend who kids have been using theirs for a year and a half and they wear them every week. So, you figure it's it's it'll last a long time, definitely longer than it, the shirt will fit the child. Okay, okay, and we saw the package with the shirt and the crayon and the uh, erase cloth, and that will retail for how much? Twenty eight dollars. Twenty eight dollars, and people will find it where? Um, a, a number of different stores. Um, you can go to our website www dot chalk dash of dash the dash town. Com. Okay, I'll soup it on the screen. I'm lost already. What's your sister's name? Did we tell your sister's name? Uh, her name is Wendy Almasano, and she's based in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. So we do a lot of uh, FaceTiming during the day. And you're based in New York? I'm based in New York City. Perfect. I like it. Dick D. Bartolo, Man's Medist Writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. That's Chalk of the Town. I'm Talk of the Town. Bye.